In the last half hour of the auction, it went from $175 to $372.89. <laughs> hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, it is time for Share Your Best April Bolo. These bolos come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It looks like this, over 85,000 members. So basically, I invite everybody in the group to share their best April Bolo. Um, what is a bolo? A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can buy low and sell high. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. The first one here comes from Nina's Jewels. She is a Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel, which means she has joined memberships for perks. There's more information about that down below. Level two and up gets you the perks. All right, let's get started here with Nina Jewels Bolo. Got this from a storage unit. Our cost for each item from the unit was 28 cents. Sold this for $169.98. I had no idea of the value when I pulled it out and didn't even wrap it up. Luckily, we didn't break it in transit. It is a antique ivory hand-painted gilt porcelain shoe vase figurine. And it looks like they had it at $199.99. Sorry, it's really small and took a best offer and this is what it looks like. How cute is that? And I have been guilty of doing that with glass. If you guys just watched this video of my husband uh, trash picking, oh my goodness, you guys are gonna be screaming at the screen if you like glass, but you're also gonna be laughing I think really hard. So go check out that video. I'll try to remember to link it down below. My husband had me cracking up in this video. It's like all him, all him. All right, pick this up at the Goodwill bins for maybe 50 cents, sold very quickly for $53.95. She said, I love all things Fisher Price. This comes from the Rebel reseller. She loves plush. She specializes in plush and she, I mean, just she knows her plush. She has all kinds of videos about plush. So definitely go check it out. This is a puff -a lump and I've actually sold this same zebra a couple times. I'm not sure if this is the one she had hanging on her wall forever or if she found another one. Um, but anyway, puff -a lumps they come in many different shapes and sizes and styles. Definitely pick up puff -a lumps if you see them. They are a bolo. She said, I can't remember exactly where I picked this up. It was probably at the Goodwill bins or a thrift store. I always teach that if you can find a plush that is made of terry cloth, definitely check comps. This plush sold for $80.86. It is a Carter's Terry Cloth Lamb Sheep Plush Rattle, 10 inch color block stuffed animal toy. Yes, I do really well with Terry Cloth as well. Um, so the Rebel Reseller also has a Facebook group. So check that out also. I picked this up at the Goodwill Bins on a sourcing trip in St. Louis. I had a difficult time finding comps. I ended up using WorthPoint to find sold comps. Listed high and sold within a few hours for a best offer of 60. It was an international sale. It's a little jelly cat purple bear plush 11 inch lavender stuffed animal toy. Jelly cat is another big money bolo brand. I have bolo category videos on jelly cat. Type bolo buddies jelly cat into the search bar and those videos will pull up. I do category videos on plush and so does rebel. So check them both out. Um, she mentioned WorthPoint. I love WorthPoint. I have videos that show you how to use WorthPoint. Again, you can type Bolo Buddies WorthPoint into the YouTube search bar and those videos are going to pop up. Um, when I use a product and I tell you guys I use a product, I like to show you how I use the product because to me, it's like I want to show you why I think it's a valuable tool for your reselling business. WorthPoint is kind of pricey. Um, is it for everyone? No, I don't think it's for everyone, but it's definitely for me. And I took forever to get it because it was expensive and I'm kind of cheap. And, um, what I realized is I make more money because I have worth points. So it's one of those business tools that actually makes you money, but you don't really see that until you actually use it. If you want to try WorthPoint, I do have a referral link down below. If you guys would use that, I would greatly appreciate it. Whenever you guys use my referral links, it definitely helps me out. 
Um, most of them offer you something for using the referral link. So those are all linked in my link tree, um, which is a clickable link and it's just got all of my stuff. And some of them are in the description. So if you've used one of my links in the past, thank you and I appreciate you. All right, bought a box of 32 ink cartridges at a thrift store on Saturday for $20. Sold four immediately for $51. Posted four more for 52. Same buyer bought those at what? as well. Looks like these sold on Mercari. Epson 702XL High Capacity Ink. And this is what it looks like. I found this at Value Village in a baggie with other stuff. And anytime I hear the word Value Village, do you know who I think of? I'm going to give you guys a second to put it in the comments because um, if you watch her channel, she is always buying stuff at Value Village. That is like her store and she has thrift with me videos. It is Butterfly Hustles. Definitely go check out her channel. You will adore her. She is super sweet and a bolo finder, but she sells uh, tons of stuff from Value Village. This is not her bolo. It just made me think of her and I wanted to shout her out because she's fantastic. Um, okay, found this at Value Village in a baggie with other stuff. Probably $5.99, give or take a dollar. I started my auction at $40, hoping it would go for over $50. In the last half hour of the auction, it went from $175 to $372.89. <laughs> I was shocked and thrilled. MTV clear glass paperweight promotional event. Hard to find and rare. Check it out. Paid $5 for this at a yard sale. Sold for $148.75 plus shipping. This one comes from Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube. And it is a Elgato Game Capture HD High Definition Game Recorder Open Box. No clue what any of that means, but bolo. And I will have them linked down below. This one is also from Picker Money Flipper. Bought these at a yard sale for $30. The same buyer bought them for $215.92 plus shipping. Sold in a week of listing. You gotta love those quick, quick sales. Nest Cam IQ Indoor Full HD Wireless Security Camera White Magnet Mount. This is what it looks like. This one comes from Jody Toy Attic, and this is her YouTube channel. She is a bolo finder, specializes in toys, sells a lot of vintage stickers. You're going to love her. I bought this Barbie at an estate sale for $20. I had her listed for $600. After eight months, I decided to take an offer of $479, and she said, I am still happy with that. Yes, and you should be. 1968 Truly Scrumptious Barbie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Mattel doll in the box. This is what it looks like. And oh my goodness. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Thrifta Holic. That is her eBay and YouTube. Bought this little guy at a church sale. I found him while I was at the checkout line. He looked interesting because he looked very old and it looks like he was made of wool and he had a furry chest. I paid $3 for him gladly. When I got home, I researched the label on the bottom that said Grendel's Labrador Industries. It also stated the Netherlands. When I looked it up on eBay for comps, the only thing I could find was wall art that was vintage that was priced in the thousands. I didn't see any stuffed animals by this company. Then I checked out Worthpoint. Worthpoint again. Um, and found a polar bear made by this company that had sold about five or six years ago for 300. Since I didn't see any penguins, I knew I had a winner. I put him on auction starting at 475, relisted several times with lots of watchers, but no bites. I finally listed at a buy it now for 475 and took a best offer of $350. Still a big win. Yes. Check it out. That is awesome. I love it. I love those like just unexpected bolos. This is an original ink and marker drawing by a local artist, Scott Dalrymple, something like that. He is known to be a graphic artist who makes comic book drawings. He usually draws characters and has sold some of them online by the cityscape. Was not like any of the other items I saw as comps on eBay but I was still hopeful that I could get a good price. I made an offer for 85 to a few watchers and someone picked it up at that price. 
Not bad for a $3.99 investment from Goodwill. I did have it sitting in inventory for about eight months, but artwork doesn't take up that much space. And this also comes from Thriftaholic. And this is what it looks like. Hi, Courtney. I know you don't sell clothing and I like hard lines better myself, but clothing is so darn easy to ship. I will agree with her 100%. Um, I used to be a full-time that's it, clothing reseller, clothing and shoes and accessories. You know, I didn't do all these hard goods like I do now. And she is correct. The one thing that I loved about clothing, I hated the measurements, but I loved the shipping. Anyway, this is certainly a brand to look for. This is a Lily Pulitzer tunic shirt or swim cover-up. I was able to find the name of the style because there were several sold on eBay, but not in this print. It was in near new condition and I bought it at the Goodwill for $9.99. I put it on auction starting at $45 and to my surprise it went up to $96 plus $7 shipping. Keep your eyes peeled for Lily Pulitzer. They are easy to spot but stick to prints. The Lily Pulitzer solids don't do nearly as well. Um, yeah, for sure. Lily Pulitzer, the vintage can do well as also. Um, I agree with her. Certain prints are going to go for more than others and... So prints and styles, it's kind of like Pyrex, <laughs> you know, certain prints, certain styles, you know, all of that makes a difference on how much the item is going to sell for. This one comes from Cat Feelin' Thrifty. She is a Bolo Buddies member. This is her YouTube channel. She's new to YouTube, so show her some love with a sub. And she has got some great what solds, and she's just doing short what sold videos, getting her feet wet, but you're definitely going to learn if you go check her out. Paid... $5 for the watch at a yard sale, probably sold too low for 111 Not going to explain, especially in this market. It's a vintage Wittenauer women's watch from the 1930s. Um, 14 carat and two diamonds. Ooh, it was even 14 carat. <sighs> Picked this up at an estate sale for 33 and sold it for 95 plus shipping. This also comes from Catfield and Thrifty. It is a vintage Craig 2000, or I'm sorry, 2108 Super 211. Transistor portable tape recorder reel to reel. <laughs> and it works. That's what it looks like. Pick this up for 30 at a thrift store and recently sold it on Marketplace for 150. I don't know what it is. He didn't say, but this is what it looks like. So all you uh, people out there that know what this is, it looks like it's Sony. It looks like it's got speakers. Um, is that an amplifier maybe? So some sort of musical speaker system, sound system. I don't know. Found this at a Goodwill bins, just sitting in a bin that had been picked through a number of times. It looked interesting and vintage. So I put it in my cart. I mean, what else would you do if it looked interesting and vintage? Yeah, you put it in your cart. And didn't think about it till later that night. Opened it and saw it was new old stock. Perfect condition. Comps were amazing. Paid around $3 and it sold for a best offer of $175 plus shipping. Best find yet at the bins. eBay store. Bougie Thrifting Mama. Uh, it's a vintage Archer 151610 automobile VHF TV antenna. New old stock. I want to find that. That's so cool. All right. Awesome bolo. And I will have her eBay store link down below. Bought this vintage Patagonia men's shirt at the Goodwill for $4.99. And it sold overnight for a best offer of 50 plus shipping. Um, it is a Patagonia shirt. And if you want to watch somebody who keeps finding Patagonia in almost every video he has done, go check out Dad Planet. Um, he is, it's kind of like a joke now. He always finds Patagonia. Um, we just did a, uh, recently did a collab, Goodwill Benz collab video where we were at the Benz at the same time. We were supposed to have some big plan about let's find five items or let's look for this and like have some sort of challenge. Well, we didn't end up doing that, but, um, we both found some really cool stuff that day. So, um, I posted my video, told you to check out his. He posted his video, told you to check out mine. That is what you call a collab video. Bought these in a thrift store charity shop. Sold for 70 offer taken around 90 USD. Uh, have been sent to Australia through GSP. High clothing, definitely a Bolo brand. 
Hi is the brand. Everyday Couture Claire Campbell Belt Loop Denim. This is what it looks like. These were on the shelf at the Goodwill. Two Empoli Blue Glass Genie bottles that I purchased for $12.99 each and sold for $230 plus shipping. Bought this at the Goodwill for $1.99. Sold by auction for $177.50. Buyer paid shipping. Briar is the horse brand. Old Timer McDuff. How cute is that? Definitely would have grabbed this. I always grab Briar horses. Now, Briar horses range from bread and butter to big money. Some of them can go for crazy money. Um, but a lot of them are just bread and butter. This one sold for $177.50. It is a vintage rare briar horse McDuff old timer with hat. It has a hat. I mean, it's a horse with a hat. All right, you guys, we are going to stop here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for, for watching. If you're not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, definitely go down to my link tree and uh, give it a follow and share a May Bolo. I would love to see what you guys are selling for big money. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here. A subscribe and another video down below. Check out another video and be sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. And there's probably going to be eight, maybe nine videos this month for the best April Bolos. And there were 10 last month. There were so many great bolos in March. Oh my goodness. Go check those out as well. So thank you to everybody that shared. The May post is up if you want to go share a May bolo. Well, thanks for watching.